This is in no way my attempt to justify my comic book obsession. And this story, I really, really like. Artwork, the storytelling. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Pull List. My name is Travis, let's talk about Spider-Man. More specifically, let's talk about Tom Holland's future as Spider-Man in the MCU. Tom Holland made his first appearance as the web slinger in Captain America Civil War, and he did a great job. And we know that Tom Holland will also be appearing as Spider-Man in this year's Spider-Man Homecoming and next year's Avengers Infinity War. And Marvel Studios head Kevin Feige just confirmed something that we were all pretty sure about, that Spider-Man was going to be in the fourth Avengers film, the Untitled Avengers Project. Because as we we now know, instead of calling them Avengers Infinity War Part 1 and Avengers Infinity War Part 2, it's now Avengers Infinity War and Avengers 4. Essentially a yet to be titled Avengers film because some people think that the title, the actual title of the fourth Avengers film, is a spoiler to Avengers 3 Infinity War. Kevin Feige went on to say that they would like to use Tom Holland in as many films as possible, stating that Spider-Man will be appearing in Avengers 4 and a sequel to Spider-Man Homecoming. Peter Parker himself, Tom Holland, initially confirmed that he signed on to play Spider-Man in six films. Civil War, Homecoming, Infinity War, Avengers 4, and Homecoming sequel. So, there's one missing. But on the other side, Sony says that they have plans for Tom Holland to play Spider-Man in three standalone Spider films. So that's Homecoming, Homecoming sequel, and the aforementioned sixth film. And it's always sort of been hinted at that Sony and Marvel will part ways after Spider-Man Homecoming, but now it seems like they're gonna possibly be parting ways after Homecoming sequel. But now that begs the question, how much spider room does Marvel really have to play with? We know that when Chris Evans signed his contract for his appearances as Captain America, that little snippet in Thor 2, that counted as an appearance. But with Marvel saying that they wanna use Holland as much as possible, does that mean that Sony and Holland are open to renegotiating the six film contract? Holland also stated in an interview last month that he sees the Spider-Man standalone films with Sony covering each school year much like Harry Potter, which could potentially give us seven or eight standalone Spider-Man films. Sony has announced a Black Cat and a Silver Sable movie, and they're going to start filming the Venom movie later this year, but Tom Holland doesn't even know if he's going to be a part of any of those films. I'm not sure how Tom Holland's Spider-Man could tie into a rated R Venom film, but I guess it could work, Venom wanting to eat Tom Holland's brains and all in rated R glory. So maybe Holland could renegotiate a contract with Marvel to try to tie his character more into the MCU. But if Sony and Marvel really do part ways after the Homecoming sequel, then Spider-Man will have only appeared in Civil War, Avengers Infinity War, and the fourth Avengers movie. Feige also stated that even though Sony and Marvel are essentially teaming up for the live action Spider-Man films, that Marvel is not involved at all in any of the other Spider-Man spin-offs that Sony has planned. We know that Sony is moving forward with an animated Spider-Man film focusing on Miles Morales, but it will have no connections to the MCU at all. But let me know in the comments down below what you think. Based on Tom Holland's performance in Captain America Civil War, would you want to see more collaborations between Marvel and Sony to keep Tom Holland in the current MCU? Or do you think that now that Sony got what they wanted, giving the public an actually great Spider-Man, do you think that they should part ways and Sony should try it on their own now? I, for one, am a fan of the whole Marvel-Sony sort of team up where they you know, get to share the characters and reap the benefits. And I would love to see that happen with other companies. Marvel and Fox. The X-Men. Fantastic Four. Please, Fantastic Four. Anyway, that's it for this episode of The Pull List. My name is Travis. Thank you for fueling my comic book obsession, and you will see me tomorrow.